Hello folks and welcome to another Inkdependence.com brief video review and water drop test. Today we have Mont Blanc's Albert Einstein, which comes in this fancy box. It's very shiny, it has the sky, uh, all manner of stars, some equations, uh, and of course it says Albert Einstein writing ink on there. On the back, uh, no name, so I just call this Albert Einstein, although if you look at the bottom of the bottle, which is this little guy, it looks exactly like the bottle for the red chalk from Leonardo. The only difference is the bottom one of them says Leonardo, the other says A. Einstein Gris 30 mil. Both are 30 mil bottles. About the same price. I think they're both, I got them both for uh, 18 bucks. That seems about right to me. But it's been a while. I got these at the Mont Blanc store in uh, DC, uh, Tyson's Corner. It's a very nice little bottle. It's pretty heavy. I'm not sure what it's made out of, but it might be, I don't know, maybe it's crystal or something. I don't know, that'd be nice. Uh, probably just glass. And then a 30 mils of ink, and then you have the nice little snowflake on top, and some banding here, little facets. It's a nice bottle. All right. Now, the ink is one that I've been using for quite a while, and I just never got around to reviewing. I was using it in my Rotrain 600 for a long time with the uh, medium nib. I really liked it there, and I just never got around to reviewing it, and I don't know why. I just didn't. Uh, then I put it in this uh, Skyliner 50s. It's got a semi-flex nib. I have here Wall Esterbrook. I don't know why I wrote that. It's definitely Wall Eversharp. Uh, and if I zoom in here a little bit, you can see some of the shading you're going to get from Einstein. Uh, it does shade pretty well on just about everything. It's well behaved. It's an excellent ink. I really, really like this ink. It's one that I might actually have to get another bottle of, but it takes me so long to go through a bottle. As a limited edition, this is one that you'll need to get as ASAP as you can if you want to. Uh, when I was at the Mont Blanc store after the DC Fountain Pen show, they didn't have any of this and they said it was in high demand. So if you can find it, get you some because it's darn good. Uh, here it is compared to a bunch of other things. I have a lot of grays coming up on the blog. This is Einstein, of course, on top, and then uh, Faber Castell's stone gray underneath, uh, then some red chalk and hazelnut. Uh, I didn't put any other ones. There's Duke Black as a comparison. So there's black, not a very convincing black, but it's a uh, black nonetheless. Uh, and then the gray. You can definitely tell the difference between the black and the grays, I believe. But the sort of chalky character that you get from the Mont Blanc, uh, I think, is much nicer. Chalky? Well, maybe not. More like graphite, I suppose. Uh, anyway, I really do like this ink a lot. It's definitely dark enough for normal use. And as you can see here in the swatch, if you put down enough of it, it does definitely get very dark. So, if you have a wet pen, great. This will be just fine, and you will use it all the time. All right. Here we go. Let's do some water here. Spray that on there. Voila. Watch it beat up. Good job, Rhodia. And just a little bit of a swirl there. Nothing super uh, uh, impressive. Keep going. All right. That's about enough time. Soak this guy up. And, yep, not a whole lot left. You can see the edge there. There's a lot of gray that came out uh, here. There is, um, well, the dots kind of stuck around, which is interesting. But the lines, um, all gone, more or less. You're going to be able to see it just barely, but it is going to be uh, uh, pretty faint. Here's the uh, chromatography for that one. I kind of thought a lot of it would stick around, and seems a fair amount did. Uh, not a whole lot, but some. You can see a lot of blue tones and gray tones, a little bit of uh, sort of a greenish brown undertone down here. It's really nice. Uh, the chromatography came out pretty cool on this one, actually. It's more than I was expecting. And it is, I think, more interesting than the uh, uh, red chalk one that I showed before, just because it has more colors. I like these chromatographies with a lot of colors. Anyway, this is uh, Mont Blanc's Einstein. I'm a big fan of this Einstein ink. Uh, I just kind of gush about it, I guess. But uh, definitely go out and find some if you can. It's really good stuff. Peace out.